Avocados are a key product for this Mexican restaurant, serving one of the most common cuisines across California. Manager Piero Sanchez was scrambling for contingency plans after the U.S. abruptly suspended imports from Mexico in February over alleged gang threats made to a U.S. inspector. Although imports resumed after a week, some businesses are still feeling the pressure. What you do see is usually this is the time period in which we get uh, avocado prices at our lowest, and that's not the case. We're still paying pretty much winter prices. Uh, we're concerned that as the summer ends, winter months begin, prices may even go up more. Overseeing the largest avocado production in the U.S., the California Avocado Commission predicts the avocado harvest and prices to go up by 15 percent over the course of 2022. Within the industry, avocado is commonly referred to as green gold. Its demand has exponentially increased throughout the past decade, and its price is now 100 percent higher than the previous year. Mexico's state of Michoacán alone supplies 80 percent of all avocados consumed in the U.S., raising questions about the sustainability of relying on a single source. I do believe that buyers in importers in the U.S. will be certainly looking at diversification of suppliers to avoid this type of problems when you when you depend 80 percent of your of your supply on a single origin is risky when this type of uh, problems may happen. Criminal groups have for years fought to control the avocado exports from Mexico and have caused other disruptions in the past. For businesses like Pierros, that's just one more uncertainty to deal with. I think realistically we're, we're, we've been on contingency plans since 2020, right? Uh, since March of 2020 with COVID. It kind of pulled the rug from under us. U.S. consumption of avocados increased six-fold over the last 35 years, due in large part to their year-round availability from Mexico, but that fragile supply chain poses risks for growers, importers, businesses and consumers alike. It is Tian Shan, CGTN, Los Angeles.